Hi guys, and thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Joyce. I give content for Canada Immigration. Thank you for tuning in. So uh, on this video, guys, I'll be talking about how to increase your chances for getting selected from the pool. We have been talking lately about express entry. I did a video on express entry and how to step by step on how to apply through express entry for permanent residency in Canada. And then people commented on, and I checked on the comments, people are saying, Joyce, tell us how we can increase. I've been in the pool for this long. I was in the pool previously, a year elapsed before me being selected from the pool, because this is what happens. If they don't select you within a year in the pool, you'll have to create another uh, application for the following year. And each year you'll, you'll be losing five points because of your birthday each year that your birthday passes, uh, you grow older, you'll have to lose points for that. So what can you do to increase your chances for getting selected from the pool within this one year that you join the pool? Because uh, remember, Canada Express Entry is based on points, it's merit-based. So you have to have a certain amount of points for you to get selected, okay? And each time they come up with different uh, points. Sometimes they will say it's 370. Other times they will say it's 470. Other times 450, depending with each classification of each stream of Canada immigration and a PR. They'll always come up. Nobody ever knows how many points they're going to be selecting if it's a Canada experience class. Some, something else that we must put into consideration right now is that we must be uh, aware of the news that were released by the Minister of Immigration. And he insisted, he said that they are going to have a lot of people get select, selected under Canada Experience Class. Canada Experience Class is for people who are already in Canada. So they say that if you are under Canada Experience Class, meaning that you are either in Canada with a work permit, you have experience for one year, you're in Canada as an international student. You have experience for one year. You are you are in Canada either way because I know you can even apply through express express entry uh, as a Nasalam seeker. Whichever class in you are, as long as you're in Canada, you'll have more chances of getting selected from the pool compared to somebody who is applying from outside Canada, according to them in the new release. But this one, oh, well, I'll do another video to tell you why this is the case and for how long this would stand, because there's a lot that is surrounding this news. Anyway, the reason for this video is now to show you how do you increase your chances of getting selected from the pool, because this does not mean that now, because they're increasing the number of people that are under Canada experience class, does not mean that the other classes will not be selected. The people that are outside Canada will stop coming to Canada. No, they still need people to come to Canada through PR, regardless. So the, the immigration is not going to stop anyhow. It's, 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 it has been there. It's always going to be there. So they will still need people fr from outside Canada. Otherwise, Canada can only be Canada if it's bringing immigrants to Canada. So Canada, as I like I always say, Canada will always need immigrants. So now on this video, I will be showing you how to how to use comprehensive ranking system because this is the uh, this is the uh, the format that they use for to select people from the pool that I talked about the express entry and and with that I'll be sharing with you the the the, the screen so that you get to see um how to get selected from this cr score yeah so let's start with this one so this one is comprehensive ranking system tool for skilled immigrants express entry and they'll be looking at your skills your education your language ability your work experience and other factors this is a tool that they use to select you, and I say that once once you finish filling uh, this information at the end of it, if you call you, if you qualify, they'll give you a unique number that will allow you now to go ahead and apply for GCK account 
And now from there, you enter the pool and from the pool, they will select you within that one year of your application. So let's see, what is your marital status? Let's say, for example, you are married or never married. I, I want us to say, um, and uh, uh, common law, divorced, separated, legally separated, married, never married. Um, I want us to say that we are never married, just to see, but you can say whatever class you are in. Let's say, for example, you are 29 years of age. That is the climax. I'll tell you the reason. And then here, let us say that they're asking that, do you have, what is your level of education? Let's say you have one year program at university college. Uh, no, one year is very little. Let's say you have a bachelor's degree, okay, from outside Canada. Hi, the, this one, have you, have you earned a Canadian degree? Let's say no. Higher. Official language, are you, are your test results less than two years? Yes. Which one did you do? Because you can do cell, PIP, IELTS, PTE, TEF, TCF. Let's say you did IELTS. By the way, you can for English, you can do cell, PIP. You can also do IELTS. For those of you that are in Nigeria, by the way, they introduced um, a center for you to do cell, PIP. I think it's in Lagos. So you can check that one from last year. But normally, I know a lot of people have done IELTS. Let's say for speaking, you have, let's try and get the highest, which is 7.5 and above. The highest you get, the better. For speaking, you have a seven. Listening is the one that they consider a lot. Let's, let's try and get 8.5. And then reading, let's try and get uh, an eight. And then writing, let's try and get 7.5. Do you have other languages results? And then we say not applicable. This one is very important because if if you have the other way of increasing chances of you getting um, increasing your points is is making sure that you get a very high score in language. The other one is make sure you, is ensuring that you have at least an extra language which which is French. So I know a lot of you will ask me: Is it worth it to study French and then test on TEF? Yes, it is worth it. If you do a CRS score and you realize that you're only missing points, that the points that you're missing could be boosted by you doing French within a very short time, maybe give yourself two months or three months, because again, you don't want to read French forever, then you would go ahead. Because right now, Canada is really supporting people that speak French under immigration. Even when the minister was speaking, he said that people that speak French will have very high chances of getting selected under these streams. So if let's say, for example, let's say you don't even have that. Let's say you don't have any of that, not applicable. But if you have the better, then work experience, let's say you have one year experience. Those of you that are in West Africa and you have that YEC, that one is also counted as part of experience. So make sure you use that one as part of experience. You call it one year experience. And then in the last 10 years, how many total of foreign experience do you have? Oh, work in Canada. Experience in Canada will say none. And then outside Canada, we say one year. Let's see. Do you have a certificate from Canadian province or federal body? Um, let's say no. We don't have. So it, here it means that if you have done any certification for Canada, even if it's online, it will boost you. So this is also another way of increasing your chances of getting selected, having a certificate from within Canada. You see it is part of the questions here. Then the other one, do you have a valid job offer supported by LMIA? This is also another way of boosting your your scores and, um, under this CRS score. So if you have a valid it's of, normally, I say it's very hard to find an LMA job, but it's also possible. It's, it doesn't mean that it's not impossible. If you have a, an LMA that is positive, this will you'll get by applying for jobs either under uh, Job Bank, LinkedIn, uh, Indeed, all those uh, um, tools that provide uh, opportunities for you to apply for jobs. If you manage to find a job that comes with LMA, this will boost you a big, big deal. Like, 
you'll, you'll just jump and, and get selected. So let's say you do not have, because I know a lot of you do not have, do you have a nomination certificate? This is also another way of getting get, increasing your, your opportunities for nomination. So if you get, nom let's say, for example, you applied under PNP, any of the provinces in Canada, the 12 provinces besides Quebec. So if you get selected, you automatically get 600 points out of that. So um, if you can, normally I say, by now, if you're very keen with immigration, you should be having a file for all the 12 provinces because it's free to create an account for PNP. You should have an account for Ontario, Brampton, uh, Brampton uh, New Brunswick, BC, all the provinces. At least you should be in those pools for the provinces. And of course, you must meet the qualifications for you to apply for provincial nominations. Because the moment you get selected, let's say, for example, just Saskatchewan selects you, they'll give you a whole 600 points, and then you'll use the 600 points to boost your express entry. The only unique provinces that are different from others is uh, Saskatchewan and, and, and uh, Manitoba. Manitoba, they say even if you have a, a, a friend, leave alone just a, a relative. If you have a relative, the better. But even a friend, somebody that you know from Manitoba, that one will automatically give you a nomination in that province. For Saskatchewan, if you have a, a relative, a sibling, a cousin, a niece, any relative that you could be having in Saskatchewan, that one will automatically give you a nomination. For the other provinces, it doesn't matter if you have a relative, but if you have, more chances of you getting selected, but it's not guaranteed. But for those two, they, I know they are very unique with family connections. So do you have a nomination from the province? Let's say no, you don't have. Uh, do you or your spouse uh, or common law partner have at least one brother or sibling? If you have a sibling by blood adoption or marriage, marriage meaning a sister-in-law, let's say no, because a lot of you do not have. Let's see, we see how many points we get. Your score, your results um, out of 1,200, we got a uh, comprehensive lucky system total. We got 416. Let's see. We got 416. Higher. So you see now, no, we got, um, let's see, your score. Core human capital factors, age, we got 110. Level of education, we got 120. Official language, 136. First official language, 136, Canadian experience, zero. You see, if you have Canadian experience, again, it increases your chances. Subtotal, we have got 366. And the spouse factors, we, we don't get any points because we didn't have any spouse. If we had a spouse, more points. Uh, skills transferable, official language, we have one English, which only got 25 points, subtotal. Foreign work experience. Official language, Canadian work experience, we have zero. And then additional points, we do not have nomination. We could have gotten 600 points. So we, we ended up getting a 416, which is very good. Why we got 416 is because of age. Normally, if, if uh, 29 is the climax, I think with 29, you get a, a whole 110. Whereas if you are above 45 years, you get a zero. Okay? If you are... If you are Okay, they, they go changing like that. I don't know exactly the figures, but I know I normally know that 29 is the highest, you get 110, and then after 45 years, again, upwards, you don't get anything. So you see, 416 is, is, is very good. It's very good for, for us because... Um, 416 is very good because if now they are selecting, let's say, from 415 to... 420, we are there, we'll get. Sometimes they'll, they'll say even 373. But depending, it, they'll always have dif different categories of s selections. So that is how you increase your chances of getting selected. I hope you learned something. I'll be sharing that link on the description. So if you need to look at it, go through it. It will be the official one from IRCC. So make sure you use that one 
and then um, see what you can do to increase your points and make sure you join the pool. I mean, I, I keep insisting, make sure that you are part of the pool so that in case they have a selection or they, they are doing something, you don't miss out. So see you in the next video. Bye-bye.